don't know if I should really play this with my Life keyboard. Wasn't easy. Oh my god. This is actually narrated. Okay. I was a freshly divorced duck. Oh no. <laughs> not able to pay next month's rent. Not that I had paid for it this month yet. Oof. My brain felt foggy. And I was trying to remember. That's a harsh start. The same. <laughs> I was like, whoa, that's a... That's... That's, that's a voice for this duck. Where did all my money go? Um, coffee maybe, based on your desk? I had to retrace last night's steps. Deductions are a vital part of like tips work. Oh my god, and it has like a duck feed. This is so cute. Find clue words by questioning persons and inspecting your surroundings. Enter clue words into the blank spaces to solve. Actions. Oh my god, I'm gonna fail on this miserably. Deductions. Duck. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. Papers. Oh. What is happening in, in the chat? I don't get it. Second overdue notice. I wonder at what point they start kicking people out. Funds, I see. Are they good start being a <sighs> detective? I took that photo of her in a secluded tulip field. We spoke for hours under the stars that night. Tulips. And now, she doesn't even answer my texts. That's a cute photo. <sighs> Wait. Ah. Uh, yes, yes. Even this fresh smell. Is that booze or, or oh bread? I'm sorry. Oh, spongy loaf. Spongy loaf. <laughs> Oh my god, pigments. <laughs> it seems with bread. Won't be needing this badge anymore. <laughs> Imagine. I guess I can keep it as a souvenir. Yeah. My new job as the duck detective isn't going any better though. <sighs> Well, if things keep going badly, I could always sell it online. Great. I have everything Put I it up on eBay. This now. Okay, let's see if I can solve this. So. Money. Huh? Is her last money on? Bread? Oh my god, they solved it! <laughs> Not my proudest moment. I mean, I get it. I I live for snacks as well. Sleeping with them is on another but level though. The toast but helps me you forget. do you, buddy. I won't be needing this badge anymore. Thank Who's calling? I, I wanna answer the phone. Hello? Things keep going. Hannah! Oh my god. I'm a different duck now. <laughs> I haven't had a, a slice of bread in weeks. Oh my god, it's a bread addiction. You have to believe me! Oh my god. Uh, <clears throat> okay. Oh. Yeah, have you speaking to the duck detective? Dude! Let's discuss this in person. 
<laughs> Imagine calling a detective and you're getting yelled at that I I stopped eating bread. Did you know ducks are excellent skateboarders? Now I know. I spent more than half of my remaining cash on the bus fare. I'm six to them. <laughs> and here I was. In front of their bus office. Some sort of rundown call center. I better crack this case, or I won't even have enough money to make it back home. Poor guy. New bus route starting in August. Visit the scenic mountains of South Sicilia. I'd always tell Anna we'd go there one day. Fuck this case. <laughs> I will. But honestly, it's like it's not too bad having a bread addiction. I saw people eating walls and toilet papers on TLC, so compared to that, it's not too bad. Ooh. All right. Bus? <laughs> More like scam bus. Fish. You uh, sound unhappy. You bet I am. My God. His or her voice. Their stupid buses always arrive late. I came back from a work trip to the west and arrived here at three in the morning. Oh my God. Stop yelling. <laughs> Give me a refund. How much did you pay? Um, two schmark. <laughs> but that's not the point. It's about the principal. Huh. All right. This office looks like it'll worsen my depression. That's a good start. Every duck has a unique footprint. I can already tell based on her face that the receptionist was a tough one. She wouldn't make life easy for me. But I had to make my way into the office. Okay, let's see I'm what this... I'm a duck detective. I'm here Judith. to investigate a case. Sisley? Okay. Do you work here? Um, no. Well, then I can't let you in. But I've been hired by someone from their bus. Who hired you? Um, I didn't catch their name. Oh, how do you? How? How? How did you not catch their name? What is wrong with you? Listen, buddy. You better get out of here, or I'll have to call security. There's always more to people than you might think. I should take a closer look and figure out what she's about. Oh, dang it. He's not a very good detective. Nah. Use the magnifying glass to find clues and press E to uncover them. Oh. Name tag, last name, Vin. Vintimer. Oh, keychain, boy band, K-pop fan. Let's go. I love K-pop. Oh, are you crying? Are you tired? Tear? Sad? <gasps> oh no! Why are you sad? Did we find all the clues? I think so. I mean, I was sad on BTS. I have to go on a hiatus because military service. I get it. You're still here? I'll leave you alone. Okay, well, I guess I'm leaving her alone. Oh. First day. Laura from CS is way too loud. I can hear her. Keyboard all the way to my nest. Laura, okay. Suggestion. 
mug stolen. Uh huh. I swear to God, if someone steals my mug again, I will end them. I get it. Oh, Sophie. Sophie's birthday. Wait, is is it her birthday? And now she's sad because no one remembered. Quite mundane. I'm surprised nobody wrote something more scandalous. Oh wait, never mind. It's important to work out a suspect's name to crack the case. Okay. Enter the first and last name into the slots below their portrait in your journal suspect page. Is it Laura? No. Sophie? Yes, okay. Nice. Oh! I did not want to do that. I'm sorry. Giraffe. Cute. Smiley. Happy. Today is her birthday. Tomorrow is Friday. Need to remember to collect my dry cleaning. Oh my god, how am I gonna remember? To figure out what's going on with her. I need to check my notes in the deduction. Don't like uh I feel so sorry for her. Sophie is feeling sad because uh Nobody has remembered her birthday. I'm so sorry. That's sad. <sighs> That's why she's making such a face. Maybe we can buy her a mug. Wait, we don't have money. Her up. Maybe we can talk about BTS. Do you do you like BTS? Oh, I'm sorry. Why? Why is he so clumsy? You're still here. Happy birthday! I'm just here to wish you a happy birthday. <laughs> Is she happy? How did you know? Well, because I'm a good detective. Just another one of Duck Detective's great deductions. There we go. Big buns. <laughs> huh? Uh, anyway, that was really nice of you. No, You're welcome. Remember, can you believe it? Yeah, that's sad. If you know my birthday, you must have a connection to someone here. Here's the key card to the office. Wow, that was easy. Wow, okay. What is this place? It says server room. It's locked. Okay, then not this way. Yeah, just wish her happy birthday and she's giving me everything. Oh. You know, this reminds me a little bit of Black Sand. Because you were quite a handsome detective there. Of stale coffee and abandoned dreams. Hmm. I knew I couldn't stay long or it'd rub off on me. Others to get fired. Mm. Oh my god, why is she yelling? Needs to be fired. Jeez. I'll see what I can do. My god, look at the face. Who are you? <laughs> she looks like she's working in IT services. <laughs> do you have a problem? Uh if you have one, just call our damn hotline. Why is everyone so angry? I'm Eugene McQuacklin, the duck detective. McQuacklin? A client hired oh. me to investigate a case. Why didn't you just say so? Well, I just did. Time we put an end to the awful lunch death. Lunch death. That's a very important to fire him is some thing to sow. That's a very annoying thing in First, in the offices. Not gonna lie. And what their jobs are. 
I needed to find my club. Thankfully, I remembered the piece of paper I had in my jacket from taking notes during the call. Uh-huh. Get? What is get? Ooh. So... Lunch was stolen. Okay. S A. Mm, okay. I need more clue. Honestly, I do as well. And the graphic is just like so fun. And I like that it has voice acting. The two desks on this side look unused. Where are you? Oh my god. His or her eyes. Strained eyes. Insomniac! Oh, dude. And you're working in a call center? That's not a good combination. Energy drink. Bad habits. Mm. Mm, I can relate. Just not with energy drink. So, who are you? She answers a call. You. Ugh, this is the third time you're calling. I'm telling you, your ex-wife did not cancel your booking. She uh, looks busy. What is R? I need to ask you some questions. No, I'm sorry. You can't take your twelve trombones on the bus. Huh? What? She looks like she could use a holiday. Yeah, that was me at my first job. After like five months. Can't you see I'm talking to a customer? It's company policy. You can just mute Nothing them. Do. Goodbye. Do you know anything about who called me here? What are you talking about? Listen, I have a million more emails to answer, and there are mm, fifty people in the phone queue. I have worked 10 days in a row, including three night shifts. Oof. And Manfred still doesn't want to give me a raise! Just That's tough. Raise. So... Yeah. Okay, let's leave her alone. What is your relationship with Sophie Windheimer? That's quitting. <laughs> Excuse me for a sec. Oh man, I don't know how I'd survive the office without her. Sucks that she's at the reception. I would have loved to have her in the office. I'm back. Yes, please collect your toddler. Hmm. I think I need to look around first. Ooh, profile picture posing. That she's kind of cute. Bit lock. Me in sexy aliens. What the hell? Okay, what's the last? Oh, last name bit lock. Okay. There are clues to her password. I don't think I have enough information to crack it yet. Something about sexy aliens? I don't know, man. I will collect some clues and then I will. I will. I will talk to people then. In here must be the crime. First, I want to find out who the people in the office. It will make things easier. I'll need to remember to write everything down in my deduct. Deductions. I will. Oh. That's a cute drawing. Lazy. Freddy sucks. Who's Freddy? Rufus said there is. Stop with the post-its. <laughs> Employee of the month. Oh, I see. 
I'm not sure I feel particularly appreciated. Yeah, that's kind of not how it's supposed to be. The dimly lit room seemed to promise well-kept secrets and rumors. Okay. Let's look around. Fancy nameplate. It says Ernst. And Ernst. It's a letter for an application for a promotion to senior customer service agent. Oh. Signed by L. Angst. L. Angst. Okay. What are you doing with my family's portrait? Uh. S sorry. Uh, nothing. I'm. Uh. Kids. Means. That's harsh. Oh. High quality. Where was the last? Oh, hinge secret compartment. I see. Is it normal to have a huge painting of your family in your office? I mean, that depends, I guess. Okay, he's angry. French manager. And now let's try to How talk with him. Are the detective things going, Mr. Detective. It's Mr. McQuacklin. McQuacklin. <laughs> right. Apologies. Uh, are you planning on staying in my office much longer? I'll have to inspect the entire premise to do my job correctly. Uh -huh. well, hurry up. Was it you who called me? No, I never heard of you before. Uh huh. Who called me then? That's unusual. It's good you're here, since there has been some unrest. Okay. What are you doing? Th sorry. Nothing. I guess that was it. Anything else? I don't see anything. I'm taking you to the kitchen while you make dinner. How politician boy behaves. <laughs> Enjoy your dinner. What are you gonna make? Go I need oh. to find out who I remember to write down their profession. Uh, Sam? Sophie as a receptionist. The bear is. Wait, no. The... Okay, I don't know their names here. Customer service. The crocodile called. I have no idea. Works in the. I have no idea yet. Okay. Okay. Still thinking. I'm thinking of making tacos. I love tacos. I also very often make tortillas because it's kind of easy. It's a list of all the bus drivers. Oh. The most busy driver out of all four seems to be Petrovich. Petrovich. Yeah, because it's just like so easy, and if I'm not poisoning myself with my chicken, it actually. Ends up really good most of the time. Okay, these are the stations. Okay, we got that clue. Buses don't go very far. And 
I I uh, started to have just like some basic um, sauces like yogurt and garlic. I just crushed the garlic in it, let it stay for a little bit, and then my sauce is pretty much ready. And it's healthy, it's easy, it's yeah, tasty, and I I like um, yogurt anyway. Ooh, cash payments. Salami, mmm. Where's the last clue? Oh. Spotless, good condition. Okay. Oh, a lot of salami. It is. What are you doing with the salami? Dummy. Strong bad eyesight. Oh, he stole Laura's mug, I see. Lame? Why is it lame? I'm the only one here in the operating office. Can you imagine? I plan all the bus routes and make sure the buses are on time. Hey. <laughs> Isn't that so cool? Don't you have an angry customer shouting outside about the buses being late? I, uh... Er, really? Do you have any idea who picked me to investigate? <laughs> no idea, but I'm so happy you're here. Uh-huh, I think it was you. A copy of your book. The early bird catches the criminal. Really? You have no idea? Uh-huh. Can you sign it? I can, like, it's no problem. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Thanks so much, Mr. Duck Detective! I won't ever forget this! This will become a core memory! <sighs> okay, I still don't know his name, though. Duck. Hmm, how would I figure out his name though? Okay, maybe let's try to talk with her again. No. Um. Let's see. Hmm. Operating office. Oh. Hi, Yelena. This is Bear Bus. How can I help? Uh, your. Yo Which ra This is Bear Bus. Uh, this is the. Your ex wife did not. She. Okay, um. Ducks! Oh my god, did you see that? Ducks migrate a thousand miles to escape your whining. Damn. So, do you have an idea who would have hired me? It's about the incident, isn't it? Um, I'm sorry. Okay. Oh wait, I need to get into... I... I need to get into this place, I think. The kitchen. In here must be the cr- First, I want to find out who the people in the- It will make things easier in the long- I'll need to remember to write everything down. Okay... I shouldn't go outside. I need to find out who the- Did I remember to write down their pro- Yes, you did. But, um, I did find all the clues, so I'm not sure. What a f it says. Uh, I have a feeling you're not, not particularly. Okay.
I do have all the clues here, is it? Are you sure you did? What are you doing with my Change Sorry. nothing, nothing. Okay, you still don't like me. Thank you for me. Oh wait, okay, okay. Um hold on, hold on. Uh Ernst. Is that Laura? Okay. Uh, and are you Manfred? Okay. Uh, but not Petrovich. Yes, okay. So I do have your name, so I can... Tricky deductions might require new perspective. Press H to get additional guidance at any... Ah, okay. No worries. Um... So, Sophie the giraffe worked as a receptionist. The bear is uh, Manfred, and the and he is the branch manager. Laura, the cat, works in customer service. The crocodile called Freddy works in the operating now office. Let's go! These names. I was ready to check out the crime scene. Let's see where that lunch got stolen from. I'm enjoying this. Talk. Um, I think Freddy hired. Was stolen by a coworker known as. Okay, we don't know who the lunch got stolen from. Oh, we have more people we don't know yet. I see. Let's go. Let's check the crime scene. We also need to find out something about the aliens, but I don't think we're there yet. As soon as I entered the kitchen, the comforting waft of cheap white toast entered my nose. Oh. He really has a problem. This wasn't what I was here for. Stop eating the icing. Oh. Can't you wait a couple hours? Margaret, if it wasn't for these pants almost bursting, I'd have this for breakfast every day. Yes, yes, and you can have it and so much more later when we're done preparing. This is a really messy kitchen. I think even worse than mine. So her name is Margaret. She looks kind of cute and likes to cook, probably. Motherly, okay. She's divorced, too. Yes, dear. I'm Eugene McQuacklin, detective, and I need to ask some questions. A detective? How exciting! <laughs> What's the most gruesome murder you've seen? Oh my god. How many dead bodies have you encountered? Eating turtle. <laughs> leave. Just leave. Just no. Um, eating turtles maybe? I don't know. I almost died that one time when I got myself into trouble with the Teething Turtles Mafia. Teething Turtles Mafia? What is that thing? That incident taught me to stay away. Beautiful ladies, ladies in, red. in red. Did they break your kneecaps? <laughs> huh? No. You can see that I can walk just fine. Hmm. I think this lady lives off on true crime. Do you know anyone here who could have hired me? Hmm. To be honest, everyone was quite shocked by the launch theft. Told me they've called a detective. So it's I mean we know who called us, but that's the deal. But like again, I luckily never experienced this, maybe because no one wants to eat my amazing cooking. But my lunch never got stolen from anywhere that I worked and luckily enough I don't have to go to the office all too often, so 
these days I just go down to the canteen and buy something and eat it immediately, so that's another thing. I don't know what's going on at all. Eee, she's panicking. What do you think of Sophie Windheimer? She doesn't have the easiest life, you know. Oh? She just had a terrible breakup with her ex. Oh, people are breaking up and divorcing in this game. What is you... going on? Oh my, is she the gossip girl in the office? Can you tell me anything about Laura Angst? Oh, she's such a hard-working girl. I heard she secretly studies for her online bachelor's during work. You need to keep this a secret, though. Can you stop, lady? <laughs> office gossip huh oh cancel budget cuts oh that's a cute drawing looking for editor on me <laughs> hungry get your lunch or get your own lunch please office parties are a bad idea anyway they stopped doing them at the precinct after the uh, jam incident. I mean, not necessarily. They can be good. Okay, and who is this penguin? Who box? Okay, he's the janitor. I like his head. A sticker. Give it fan. Wait. I don't know if that looks like Star Trek. I I my memory this doesn't serve me. Again. Right. What's wrong with these youngsters? They don't know how to treat things with respect. Why would they put the mugs in face up? Ew. Why would you do that? That's... okay. I'm a private detective, and I'm here to investigate a case. Is that so? I need to find my client. Uh, Freddy's a bit of a weird one, so I'd imagine you would call detective. Personally, I feel we're doing just fine. And don't need no messing about our business. Was it you? Here. Did you steal it? Do you get along with Manfred Ernst? He's a stubborn one. I do respect that. Okay. Did you, say you enjoy Freddy Ferdersen's um, company? Yeah, he's kind of sus. If anyone needs to learn to respect their elders, it's that moron. I mean, honestly, he's still low as mug. Freddy, the alligator guy. So, Margaret, thanks for the food, Salami Bandit, Wheezy, Shop Claws. Wait. So, this must be the crime. Wait, I think oh my god, I think it was Freddy. He had a he had a bag with salami. Gross. Yeah, it is very gross. They wash their hands after leaving that greasy handprint. What a deduction, my man. Wait, do we have any clue about the password stone? So... Uh... With lock? Hmm... Are you Rufus? No... Oh, wait. You are, okay. And we haven't met the last person. 
The PC is on, but the person who works at this desk, they only have a single person answering the hotline right now? That's yeah. Surprising. Surprise added to clues. Um. Oh, we can, can you talk. Tell me more about more. Freddy Fredersen. Let me put you on hold while I find the route for you. Freddy? Ooh. Ooh. He gets paid more than me. Can you imagine that? Ooh. She's mad. She it's needs a break. Competent waste of office space. <laughs> Hello, this is Laura again. I checked the bus routes and found that. What do you think about Manfred Ernst? Honestly, this is giving me flashbacks when I worked in the call center. Oh, he's a great guy. I just wish I'd finally get a raise. Yes, yeah, sorry, this is Bear Bus. Your bus will be three hours late. Yeah, that's right. That's relatable for the transportation here. You, you're lucky if something comes. Can you tell me about Margaret Whitlock? She gets really angry with me when I don't return mugs to the kitchen. Um. I mean. Why don't you just return them? I do. Really? Uh, just not every day. What do you know about Manfred Ernst? I think he likes me. He's the only one who doesn't shout at me. Mm hmm. I'm the only one here in the operating office. I plan all the bus routes and make sure the buses are. <laughs> Isn't that so? Don't you have an angry customer shout? I. Here we had this conversation. Um. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was him. Um, but I do want to go and talk with this guy because I don't remember. There are no ducks on the moon. Wow. What is Rufus Sedaris like? Uh, not the greatest janitor, but he came with the building. <laughs> what do you know about Laura Ank? Oh, she's a fantastic employee. She basically does the work of five people. Yet you don't give her a raise. Hey, um... I did that detective because it's her lunch. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Margaret, the sheep works in customer service. The penguin is uh, Rufus. He's a janitor. Oh, we're missing someone. The buffalo. Okay, where is the buffalo? We haven't seen a buffalo before. Is it this way? Oh, yes. He oh, he's the bus driver. The cold air ruffled my feathers. And I wondered what kind of sorry soul was standing all alone in the rain. <laughs> Handsome, okay. Boris. Anything else? Oh. Why would there be bad manners? But hey, sure. Man, this isn't the bus stop. You'll have to walk south to the central bus station. What? I'm not here to take a bus. Hmm. I'm a detective. What do you think of Sophie Windheimer? <sighs> Man, I wish she'd let me talk to her. Wait, are you her ex? I'm investigating a case here at Bear Bus. Oh, uh, do you mean the lunch that got stolen? Exactly. You know who called me? Was it you? Nah. 
too busy minding my own business. I don't talk much with the customer service folks. Do you, um, like Freddy Frederson? He's a pretty funny dude. Loves to rant about detective novels. Mm hmm What do you know about Rufus Sedaris? I don't think he likes me very much, to be honest. But then, doesn't feel like he likes anyone at this office. Except for Margaret, I guess. Do you think they have a thing going on? Oh. I don't work here. I thought you were a detective. Well... Yeah, but... That doesn't mean I know everything. Someone left their bag here. Ugh. It's full of dirty gym clothes. Oh, duffel bag. Nice. We have all the suspect names. Uh, Boris, the buffalo is a bus driver. Now that I had everyone's name and job, it would be easier to figure out what was going on. I still don't know who hired us. Detective work isn't easy. The thing that bothered me in particular was... To find out who hired me for the job, I had to pay attention to the crime scene in the kitchen. Are there any connections I can make to the people in the office? Okay. I need to also consider that not all identities are clear yet. And that's something I will have to work out later. And let's look around if I find something else. What about the full bag? Do you know anything about this bag? Oh, it's really strange. Things in it disappeared, and others appeared. Very suspicious. Huh? What are you even talking about? Is this your bag? No. Then who oh. is it? Everyone here is being really unhelpful. <laughs> yeah. Kind of. Hi, crazy guy. How it is going? How is your day so far? Oh, wait. Where am I going? Oh, back in the office. I see. Um, well, I guess... I'll show this duffel back to everyone. Or not everyone. What about you, man? Is this your bag? Good, good. That's nice to hear. I'm doing good. I had half my day off. So, it's pretty chill. I had my coffee. I'm thinking about getting another one. So, I might get a heart attack. But yeah, everything is fine. Do you have any plans for the weekend? Yes, like I'm tying up my hair. It's getting a bit annoying. Huh? No, mine's over there. The one with all the salami? <laughs> yeah! Why do you need so much salami? That's not mine. It was just there. Uh huh. A really nice surprise. Do you okay, that's kind of sus. Boris Petrovich? He's a chill guy. I take the bus sometimes to go to bouldering conventions, and then we get to chat. Oh, <laughs> hello. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, I'm good, I'm good. Maybe we talked about everything. Let's go to the kitchen and check the fridge again. So Margaret has the food. Okay, 
Okay, I think this is Rufus's, so it's not him. Hmm. A ball like this? I don't know. I don't know who this could be. The bear, maybe? But this, I have no idea. Oh wait, I wanted to see if I can talk with them. But more clues. Are you getting along with Rufus Sedaris? You know, the two of us are from the older generation. Which means we understand each other well. He is quite harsh towards the younger ones though. Do you know whose bag this is? Isn't that Freddy's? Okay. What is your relationship with Margaret Whitlock? Ah, she's a true sweetheart. We have our weekly mahjong evenings. Mahjong? Oh my god, I want to play mahjong again. I haven't played mahjong since ages. Do you know anything about this bag? I really love that game. Why are you going around pushing bags into people's faces? Ugh, what's that awful <laughs> smell? It's um. Dirty gym clothes. Yummy. I remember playing Mahjong nonstop. In the old windows. Hey. What can you tell me about Boris Petrovich? He's uh, not the most reliable worker. But it's difficult finding replacements nowadays. Mm -hmm. Hey, um, let's see if we can talk with her. Mm, no, then let's go back to this guy. No. isn't easy. The thing that bothered me in particular was, did I really inspect everything there was in and around the office? It's Maybe not. to talk to everyone, and I okay. always had the option to check the map in my... Oh, map? Oh, oh, right, right. I, I didn't talk to her again. Yes, yes. What can you tell me about Laura Angst? Laura needs to chill out. I do love her, but if she keeps living like this, she'll have a heart attack <laughs> at 23. What kind of a person is Boris Petrovich? Ugh, I don't know what I saw in him. Yeah, so that guy was Rex. I mean, I guess he's good looking. My god, is he boring. How are you getting on with Margaret Whitlock? She's sweet and all, but she can't keep her mouth shut. <laughs> it seems like the office knows more about my personal life than me. I don't... I don't know. Me bonded. Uh huh. Oh, 
Okay. So it was Laura who called me. I don't know how I came to that deduction, but let's not talk about that. <laughs> I needed to discuss the case. You're my client? Why didn't you tell me? Can I put you on hold for a second? Ugh, what? <laughs> I really like that she has her customer service voice and then her normal Angie what? voice. You should have told me you're the duck detective. What do you think I am? Who do you think I am? Why do you think I have these gods on me? What are you? I'm a duck. I'm wearing a trench coat. Exactly. So what do you mean? Are you getting fired or what? Oh. I'm. Uh... Ugh. It can't be that hard. Sorry, I'm back. Yes, let me walk you through the booking process. It was time that I found out what happened with the lunch theft. And what they were planning in the kitchen. Uh, Freddy is being... Uh-huh, okay, uh... Planning a okay. wasn't it a birthday party? Birthday party for Sophie. Was it Margaret? Yeah, I think it was her. Margaret was planning a surprise birthday party for Sophie. I see. <laughs> he didn't actually forget her birthday. Oh, that's nice. But... They need to figure out some... By Laura, because... Okay, I'm not sure about this yet. Detective work isn't easy. The thing that bothered me in particular was to figure out the situation about the culprit. I had to consider what objects stood out. I had to check again which objects the people involved interacted with. I had to take into consideration who the note in the fridge was signed by and why they decided to take I had a feeling something bigger was Bye. by Salami yes okay I okay it was as I thought yeah 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 okay Freddy Frederson was actually being framed <laughs> nice <laughs> this office wasn't as boring as it looked <laughs> When Freddy took the bus back, and he went to pick up his luggage, he must have picked up the wrong bag. This happened because there was another bag that's identical to his. The bag that he picked up belonged to... The Salami Bandit! <laughs> this made him a target. And to get rid of Freddy, the Salami Bandit decided to frame him. It's time for you know what. Oh, Sophie's surprise. Okay, oh. get into position. I just texted her, so she should be here in. Ah, uh, what's this? That's so nice. Uh, no way. This is all for me. Look at her, <gasps> a kitty, plushy thingy. Huh? A letter. A salami. Uh. Oh. Salami? What a terrible present! No, you silly idiot! What? The real present got stolen and switched for salami. 
What the hell is going on? It's the salami bandit. I saw an awful lot of high-grade salami in Fredrickson's bag. And now there's no question who the perpetrator is. I've been telling you all along, we can't trust Fredrickson. By the end of the day, he'll be fired. Mark my words. Oh, she is so getting very sus to me. To a present being stolen, or is there more to... Oh, poor Sophie. First she thinks everyone forgot her birthday. And she said about that. And then her sleeping present gets stolen. Like, imagine. Okay. I let me quickly grab a cookie. Why do I have a feeling that you are being sarcastic, Yelena? Num num num. The accusations. <laughs> That's not nice at all. Who messes with someone's birthday? Questionable title, adult novel. Okay, are we gonna read this? Okay, sexy aliens want my number by Super Zero this. Captain Brightwake stared deep into the aliens' eyes. There were 12 of them and they were red. The eyes, not the aliens. The aliens were blue and there were 43. All of them wore shiny metal armor which shined like something shiny made of curd metal. Cheese. What a bestseller! <laughs> the lead alien stepped forward. Captain Bright brick could tell it was the lead alien because it was the one which stepped forward. <laughs> what am I reading? It was also the most beautiful, the only one with purple eyes. Wait, what? This this makes no sense. I came back at the at an interesting time. Yes, we are reading a bestseller adult alien novel. Hmm. It made a noise that sounded a bit like talking from a hole that looked a bit like a pretty lady's mouth. Oh. The translation device the captain had invented fired into action or reared into action, translating the words into words he could understand. Hey, you look cute, a mechanical voice whispered into his ear. Can I get your number? What? <laughs> This writing is a 12 year old writing in a double. Yes. You nailed that one, Pigman. Oh, God. 
face. Oh god. <laughs> what did I just read? <laughs> Same, bro. Same. Oh my god. Not just Sophie, weird message. Edge Lord's cocky attitude. Tell me. Okay. I wonder what the purpose of that letter is. Probably being annoying. Can you tell me something about this letter? Sophie won't even talk to me about it. I don't know what to do. Oh, he they don't want to talk about him. Oh, you're out here now. What do you think about this letter? <clears throat> People don't know how to write letters by hand. What's with the weird line breaks? Ooh. I can sneak into her space now. Can the OO please clean their desk? I can smell it until here. They're sexy now, bye! What a dumb pen name, it's just his name backwards. Mystery author. You definitely don't want to be Laura's enemy. Well. This folder says manual for CS agents. How and when to create vouchers correctly. Huh? I'm falling asleep just reading the title. Damn, look at me go. It was so hard to crack the one purple eyed alien. Let's see what secret she has on her computer. Oh. Beauty. Never gonna give you up. <laughs> Is this like a secret relationship? Who is this person she's messaging? Let's talk to her again. That's not nice at all. Or not. This is what someone mm, let's talk. It's him. about this letter well it's obviously a cheap prank by frederson only he would find this funny <laughs> i'm guessing you're ready to present legal evidence of frederson's misconduct it wasn't frederson everything is pointing towards him i will present the true culprit soon enough well i don't really care how long it takes you this will be frederson's last day He's really getting framed here. They—they they really think I've done it, Detective. You have—you—you you know it wasn't me, 
right? Did you not think it was strange that your bag was full of salami? Uh, I don't know. I thought someone gave me a salami surprise. No. <laughs> oh boy. I'll eat salami sandwiches for breakfast, lunch, and dinner from now on. A salami surprise, huh? I see. Salami is not allowed on the bus. What do they have against potatoes? Potatoes are great. <sighs> Maybe it was too romantic. Did Sophie ask about me? She might have mentioned you. Did she really? I bet my present will blow her away. Hmm. Things are actually looking up. Things are actually looking up. Things are actually looking up. Hold on, I wanted to press R. Maybe Laura gave her a plushie. Boris gave her a necklace. I think Margaret gave her the book, and I don't know what got stolen. Hmm. Okay, something is not right there. Okay, um, illegally. Yes, that explains all the high grade salami. I just needed to find out who was behind this. I mean, Manfred is pretty sus, like, he is driving the bus. Sophie's birth. <laughs> they, they really talk detective. You, you, you know it wasn't me, right? You'll just have to. So, not 
something got okay. stolen after I have no idea how I got the conclusion, but I did it. It seemed that the salami present was intentional. Okay, that's kind of weird, but sure. Received. Silly. Silly, I don't know. Is the third one correct now? And the second? <laughs> I feel like I'm missing something or I overlooked something, but... Okay. I feel like I... Receiving threats. Done those combinations before. Thank you so much for helping. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. I feel like that I was very close before, but I tried so many combinations that I kind of forgot what I even tried. Let me have a quick sip. Where the it goes? By the way, have you played this game? <laughs> Did you google it for me? Thank you. You're the best. Okay. I don't know if I can finish this in three hours. I needed to find out <laughs> why. Yeah, you see, I'm <laughs> the best detective. Mystery of the salami bandit was slowly getting unraveled. Yes. Western goods are prohibited from entering oh. and being sold in the east. This is why the salami bandit decided to make a business out of buying high grade salami in the west, smuggling it to the east. Oh. Selling it at a high profit. Oh my god. So also, dramatic. For some reason, Sophie received a letter from the Salami Bandit and had a hidden, threatening message. Very threatening. This was serious. I had to question all of the employees. <laughs> I think the tricky part is the fact it was like differentiating between letters and messages. Yeah. It's really fun though, but I was thanks getting a bit coming, frustrated, everyone. so thanks for helping. Well, I don't know if it. Oh, I have two things, okay? First of all, I would be a cake bandit. I would steal all your cakes. That's one thing. <laughs> the other one, I would steal all the coffee in the world and milk with it, probably. What about you guys? That's a, that was a good one. Well, everyone except for Sophie. What would Where you smuggle or steal? Slacking off, playing on her computer phone like usual. French fries is a good one. I get in. I get in. Still not having my cake though. Try me. Mm. She's having problems with her family. She was at her desk and said she needed a moment. <coughs> I will start then regardless. I love them so much. I have made my deductions and drawn some serious conclusions. I get it. Honestly, I don't know if I would steal those because I am very picky and personally I like them freshly made when they're like still hot and like punchy. Oh, finally! Is Freddy getting fired then? Soggy fries are not good. Right, girl? McDonald's! I'm staring at you. M who is a murderer? What murderer? Who died? What? Died. What? <laughs> no one died. 
Like, for real, man. Salami conspiracy. Oh. <gasps> this is ridiculous. <laughs> Margaret is really into it. Maybe it was her doing all of this just to live through a detective crime experience. I don't know. Still listening to a random duck that waddled into this office. I'm leaving. Oh. Oh. Okay. Your number one sus. I'm a certified private investigator and. It's okay. Just tell us what you know. <sighs> Salami is being smuggled from Salsitia using your very own buses. I really like certain types of cake, but in way more, I'm way more picky about them. Like it needs to basically be sponge cake with enough buttercream or jam to not be dry than a dice cream. Mmm, that's a good combo. I... Hmm... I'm more like picky with flavors. I'm generally liking a lot of cakes. My main thing is also to not be dry. To have enough cream. It can be any cream. The one thing I don't really like is chocolate. Like chocolate cakes because it's just like way too sweet for me. I like the ones which has like more air like maybe like some chocolate cream then and some very like fluffy and and light um whipped cream or something like a muffin or something i just can't enjoy because the top is nice but it's like oh my god i wish i could give you my muffins which filled in uh with um chocolate pudding i promise you you would like that I'm a big fan of cakes with cream, but I will eat anything to be honest. <laughs> uh, like I have a muffin recipe that I I guarantee you that it's you're gonna love it because it stays kind of like moisture in the middle because of the pudding, so it's not gonna be like super dry. Even though I don't do any toppings because I ain't got time for them, but like. The whole thing stays like super, um, like, more sure. Plus, it's even better the other day when it sits a little bit in the fridge. It's just even better. <laughs> <I'm good. laughs> yeah. What kind of cake or desserts are your favorite? I'm kind of curious. Is it something from your country or? I'm very curious. Huh? What's going on? I like cakes. Okay. I have an issue. <laughs> I really have more important things to do. Like I really had an issue. <laughs> so when COVID started and all, at some point I baked muffins every week. Yeah. My favorite is like a Benofi pie. Have you heard of the patty cake room? No, I haven't. Composite basic top bean. Ooh, that sounds very good. I love all of those pigments. Is it really a thing? A patty cake? Or is it just a pun? <laughs> Oh, it's a nursery rhyme. I see. Yeah, I quickly googled it. Nice. Well, it's bored. There's a children's rhyme called Pedicake. Yeah. Damn. I never heard of it, honestly. It's mostly because 
Mm, I'm not from the UK and my mother tongue is not English. I'm sure we have something similar in Hungarian, but probably not with my name. Oh my god, she's so hyper. Uh, maybe. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> she's so dramatic. Listen, everybody. It's really important that no one leaves the premises. <sighs> I need to get back to work. No one gives a damn about this guy. Poor dude. <laughs> no one is okay, bye. Yeah. Patty Cake now. That's okay. It's a cute name. I don't mind. Okay, I think we have to talk with people again. This is getting intense, isn't it? Maybe you could need a little help? You seem lonely. I could be your assistant. What do you want me to do? D uh, decipher messages? Um, probably Talk nothing. Telling us the truth? Follow people around? I'm pretty good at that. Mm hmm. Just stay. Like this? Yep, you're doing. It's not concerning at all. Oh, she's. Going back and forth. Who oh, would hire me at this age? Oh, maybe I can cheer now. Real estate agent. I always wanted to be a rich real estate agent. Maybe I should write a book too. It can't be that hard. Ah. Oh, who would? Oh, maybe I can. Okay. Always wanted to be. Laura recruit you to deal with a theft. Aren't there any other detectives who are actually qualified for the job? Excuse me, I'm a great detective. I almost cracked the case. What do you I've mean? Been doing very well so far, if I do say so myself. And I do say so myself. The truth will be revealed in the end. Huh? He's sus. Why He's very sus. The truth. Huh? He's my number one sussy now. Maybe he's just rude, I don't know. Oh, he's gone from here. Hold on, let me get back in there. Finally, Manfred is out of his office. Time Let's to see, see what he's hiding. Precious family portrait. And yes, tiramisu is really good. Ooh. Social media can stalking. Uh-huh, I see. Eugene McCocklin. Dog detective. Dot yes, Kai. I only had it once and it was a frozen one so I can comment on it. And yes, can you see me? Looking for a job will do almost anything but my book. <laughs> Am I gonna be like this when I'm like finally opening my art store and be like buy my art? <laughs> oh boy. Huh? What? Am I missing half of the page? Murder. Murder, kidnapping, stalking. Well, I think he's a little bit Someone obsessed. Obsessed <laughs> yeah. You, you and me think the same. I don't know if that's good or bad, honestly. What do you want, dog? Get it. Get it, mad. Well. 
Oh, so many people to talk to here. She left? Just like this? Uh oh, that doesn't look good. Maybe she's at home. Should I look for her? Does this mean I'll never see her again? That's very sus. Sophie left! And she left a note on the desk. Sophie's parents are awful, you know. Mm. I wonder if that's what made her run away. Sophie left! And she left a note on the desk. Hey, she also left her phone. Let's see. The last dialed number on this phone is 03051777. Hold on, I'm writing this down because at this point, I don't know when I have to type where and what. Also, now that we were talking about cakes... Ah, it's working, yay! Maybe I'll give you cakes. Everyone gets cake. Cheesecake! Chocolate cake and a cheesecake. <laughs> yeah, cheesecakes are really good. Strawberry cake. <laughs> Do you like chocolate cake? Anymore, I will tell them everything. Don't. You block this number. Click here to unblock. Apple pie! Thank you, Raven. I like apple pie. <laughs> Ita! Oh my god, not the Ita! Oh god. I... I have a... Uh, well, not gonna like, kinda like the M.I. Deho videos. I, I... I really like them. Am I the Aho? Aho? I can't... What is wrong with me? Am I the Aho for expecting my coworkers to remember my birthday? It's my 20th female birthday today and no one congratulated me. I don't need much, but at least a handwritten card would have been nice. Yeah, I mean, I think there are a couple of recipes. I really like apple pies. Especially when it's like freshly made and warm. That's, oh, that's really good. I haven't had an apple pie in like years. Yeah, honestly, I'm not really big on the caramel thing. I don't really like the flavored caramel, so... Probably the only cheesecake that I wouldn't like is caramel. That's not really my thing. I don't know, I don't know why. Like, I, I tried once like a caramel cheesecake and... Uh, no. No, no thank you. Oh. Good job, sudden news. Oh. Uh. Um, I don't think she quit on her own wheel. That's it, I quit. You will never see me again. Sophie. Been... Yes, Sophie. What a dramatic turn. Oh no. I should keep this as evidence. Yeah. It's kind of weird that she just left. We were also talking about cakes. So, do you have any favorite cake? This is the note Sophie left. Can you 
tell me more about it? Also, if you need to raid and run, that's completely fine. It doesn't make sense at all that she just suddenly leave. Please make sure to take care of yourself. Oh, level cake is nice as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good choice. She definitely needs the money. I don't think we have that in our repertoire, but. You got the chocolate cake. Of course, of course. Make sure to take care of yourself. Eat something nice, hydrate something nice. Hydrate something nice. Brain. <laughs> Drink something nice. Um, my favorite cake. It's really hard. It's not something specific. But it's like chestnut cake. Anything with chestnut. And and you got me there. I'm her friend. Sophie's hey. parents are awful. You. I yeah, 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 yeah. Can I not go in now? It says it's locked. I know it's still locked. And raiders also, if you need to go, eat, drink. Get up and touch grass, it's totally fine. And thanks again for the raid. Yeah, it's I mean I don't know like how popular is abroad, but here like chestnut puree is a real real popular thing. Um that's also I, I die for it literally. Um and I also us for my birthday a chestnut cake and it was so good ah, it's so pretty she left wait i need to I look for her I need to show you the clue did you read sophie's letter i did something's off i think she she got kidnapped something's different I'm telling you this. She got kidnapped. There's no way that she would mess up her space like that. I mean, actually, I don't know because everything is really messed up here, but uh, I don't know when. Uh. What do you think of this note? It's no surprise she's left, is it? Would you want to work with someone you've dated in the past? Oh, well, I don't know about that. Don't really have experience in that. Alright, I'm gonna walk a bit. Be back later. You have a lovely time. Thank you. Have a good walk. Stay safe. Thanks for the raid again. I really appreciate it. What do you think of Sophie's resignation? Huh? I guess Boris was overdoing it a bit with that present. I did tell him to cool off a bit. Why are people hmm. not listening to me? I mean, dude, I'm. You, you're kind of a stalker, so can you blame them? Uh, two more people to talk to. Wait, oh, I haven't been in the parking lot yet, so. Anyone in here? No, but I still don't know the numbers. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Where is the boss? I haven't seen him anywhere. Where is he? Dogs are 70% more likely to solve crimes. Sure. Have you seen Sophie's resignation? I can't say it comes at a surprise. She never particularly enjoyed her job. It's difficult finding replacements nowadays, though. Hmm. It's not really a detective's job to spin crazy conspiracy theories, is it? Sometimes hey. the truth is pretty crazy. Yeah. A bit cheap. Excuse me? You're cheap.
Um, kitchen boss office. I did some by one. I missed something in the kitchen. Now I wonder where I'm supposed to find that number though, because I don't remember any number specific specific thing. But that's also Someone on me. Gifted, so it says it's a heart shaped number. <laughs> It's a heart shape. Hey, I want the alien book thingy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, I already read that. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I mean, she's not new, but yeah. I just changed my clothes a little bit. their hands yeah I think that's the clue oh wait wait there's something on the desk I'm blind hello someone forgot their phone ah. oh BTS Enjoyer! Oh my god, the BTS reference is killing me. Are your parents still angry at you? Um well this is curious. Why would she write like this? I think she was getting kidnapped. I don't know, but what you guys think? Oh my god, how- <sighs> You guys... <sighs> this is supposed to refer to acronyms. I'm s I'm sorry, but I'm not this smart. I'm dumb. And I'm not afraid to admit. Come at me. I have no idea. Anyway, I solved it. I'm smart. I'm so smart. It was me all along. I didn't cheat. I did it. Yes, I did. Oh, I the power of the internet. A ridiculously big safe. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see what secrets he has in here. Well, at least I'm. I made the detective happy, right? Right. Two letters, different handwriting. Uh oh. I sniff. I sniff something bad. <sighs> yes. I'm sad, but at the same time. Again, I never said I'm smart. I'm trying my best here, okay? I'm very bad with puzzles. But this is like the second time. No, this is the first time when I googled and I got help once, okay? The rest was me. So, there, Ingrid. Who is Ingrid? I know I haven't been there for you and the kids recently, but the things are looking up. I would love to take you to a romantic getaway to Holland... Oh, Holland days. Love, Manfred. Demands an employee of the month. Give me in my room. Keep quiet about the thing. Do all these things and nothing will happen to you. Uh-huh. He got black a lot of security for a branch manager of a bus company. Wait. Here Ooh, it is. Let's go into the server room. The key for the server room. Nice. Because so uh Hmm, okay, I don't know that yet. I don't know what happened yet. Hmm. 
Let's get into the server room. Maybe I'm gonna find out more. Mm, someone is... Someone is making... Uh, fried eggs. Let's see what's here. What are you doing? Uh, secret uh, nothing. Business. I'm just. I have the keys. Hey. I, I, I didn't break in. The electrical sparks and blinking lights created a claustrophobic atmosphere. I definitely felt that I wasn't supposed to be here. I mean, the locked door wasn't. Enough of a clue that you wasn't supposed to be here. Or what's he keeping in all these boxes? Where's the voice actor man? He needs to be hired, right? I don't know. I will ch we will we will check it after if when I finish. I don't think it's meant to do this. You don't say. No, Sherlock. Oh, oh my God. Alexander eyes anxious oh no <gasps> Your head that dirt head you poor Oh Bread comes <laughs> she <laughs> Oh this guy have a bread addiction Has that been there the whole day It's fine dude it's fine don't stress out but who the hell is living in here? Hold on, my dogs are rioting. Um, camera, this is easy. How to delete easy setting? That this is not Google. What's up with these bear bus vouchers on Ise? Hmm, are they selling vouchers? Honestly, this is nicer than my apartment. Bro. That's it? I think so. What, what is your native language if you don't mind me asking? It's Hungarian. Why? What are you doing in there? Oh my god. Uh nothing. I nothing. Around, are we? Uh, no. That room is strictly off limits. I even put a I... This is for important detective work. Um oh. Um, it wasn't me. <laughs> I didn't do anything. <laughs> oh! Sophie got kidnapped because she wanted to snitch. Yeah. The uh, they are um how to say if it's about toys they like to like growl at each other because one of them thinks the other one wants to take away her toy. Oh my god, I got all the clue. Oh my god. So Rufus illegally selling water. Margaret they... <gasps> so smart. What Rufus and Margaret were doing with the vouchers. I did it. Thank you for the help though. That might be illegal, but wasn't what I was here for. 
I needed to catch the Salami Bandit. I quickly needed to find out where Sophie was being kept. I also couldn't let the Salami Bandit get away with this. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It was you. finally time to find out who was behind everything. <laughs> thank you for the apple pie, then. Sophie is at... Their bus's station in a bus. Wait, under? On? Oh, hold on. What? It's not changing. Okay. In a bus. God. Oh my god. That's where she is being kept. It's important that I stayed calm now. Did you? I would not call that staying calm. I couldn't alert the culprit. Or all of this will have been for nothing. Mm -hmm. I needed to first figure out who is behind everything. So it I brought just long. <laughs> I think Montfred is here to watch for the bus. Because our Huh? Because mm. Manfred, because because he's Salami Bandit and his hair. Handwriting are I don't know. Yes. Manfred is the Damn. bandit. I knew he was sus. Thank you, Ellie, for the hydrate I I bet drink. Sense. I mean, it kind of does. So bloody man, friend. Ironic that his handwritten note meant to frame Frederson ended up incriminating Manfred instead. Something was missing here. Oh. Who else was involved with this? I had collected everything I needed. I... Oh my god. Um. Because the Sammy Bandit needed someone who could easily carry. I think Boris. Because the Sammy Bandit needed someone who could easily carry out the. importing of the. Hello, miss. I'm a bloody genius. Sammy Bandit wasn't working alone. Oh my god! It made sense for the bus driver to be involved. <laughs> everyone is... Everyone is involved in this place. For different reasons. Poor Sophie. Oh my god, more? Because... Yes. Oh my... Big bandits... Um, Sophie is the Salami Bandit's lover because he she used to date. Not Rufus. Uh, was it Boris? 
And the Serbian bandit needed someone who could convince Sophie into mm. Okay, yeah, you're right, you're right. As a complice because he should be used to date boys and the Sami bandit needed someone could convince boy okay. Thank you, Pigments. I got really confused I for a second. Sophie managed to talk Boris into this. I think I you had the right idea and got out. lost. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I definitely got lost. It was time that I confront the but first. I had to free Sophie. Oh my god, he's so traumatic. How does she have her phone back, though? What's going on out here? Why is everyone? Call the police! Call the police! FBI! This looks dramatic. <laughs> these these people. It's kind of a long story. I really like how unfazed she is. So, yeah, I got kidnapped. It's fine. And guess who deduced said long story? It's -a me. More like it's us, but huh. the one and only Duck Detective. Duck Detective. Read the room. <laughs> this is how everything went down. Nothing the special. The Airbus branch was suffering losses and had their budget cut as a result. Manfred, worried about the financial stability of his family, felt himself backed into a corner. This is when he became the Salami Bandit. <laughs> he made his grand plan of salami smuggling and realized he couldn't do this alone. He recruited Boris since it would be easiest for the bus driver to load and unload the wares to Salami, Ali! The bus would go through a customs check at the Salsiccia bus station first. And then, Boris would take a detour to get the salami and load it onto the bus. This is why the buses always had a huge delay. It wouldn't be easy to talk Boris into crime, so Manfred convinced Sophie to join the team. Boris's obsession with her would make it easy for her to manipulate him into helping with their plan. Poor guy got baited. Everything was going well until the duck detective, that's me, infiltrated the office. Freddy was meant to be the scapegoat for the crime, but I'm not fooled that easily. Sophie began getting cold feet and ultimately wanted to confess to the police. Manfred couldn't have this, Damn. so he interfered. In an outburst of panic, he abducted her and hid her in the luggage compartment of one of the buses. And this is why Manfred stole Laura's lunch! Bruh. What? Everything is figured out, but... Who is truly guilty? Manfred, Sophie, and Boris are all involved in the smuggling. Who should yeah. get arrested for their crimes? Manfred was the mastermind behind everything. Should Manfred get arrested? Oh my god, why do I have to decide about this? I mean, yeah, obviously, but the others do need to get punished as well, because they were accomplices. He is the reason this all started in the first place. Of course he should be arrested. What about Sophie? Everyone should be arrested. Like, I'm sorry, but you did a crime. Without her, the smuggling wouldn't have been possible. She manipulated poor Boris into taking the salami across the border. Honestly, I can see myself being... What is it called? 
love for good. <laughs> oh. Should Sophie get arrested? Yeah, I'm sorry, girl. You're going to jail. <laughs> Everyone is going to jail here. She needs to face the consequences. Boris was at the end of the chain. Had he refused to take the salami on board, the plan would have not worked out. Yes. Should Boris get arrested? Yeah, to jail, everyone. Realized what was going on entirely, but that doesn't mean he's not liable for engaging in the smuggling. Yeah, he can get a lesser punishment, okay? All right, I've made up my mind. I will report to the state police. Manfred! Sophie! Boris! And I do it again! And I would do it again. <laughs> I would have probably let Boris off, not knowing this index is a crime, Boris. I mean. To secure my family's well being. I see your point, but again, I'm. I'm not sure grand scale salami I'm like, was necessary for that. He he knew some stuff. How else was I going to cope with all the budget cuts? If anyone actually worked in this office, we wouldn't have such terrible performance in the first place. Laura was working her ass off. What do you mean? Hey, yeah. She's the only flipping person in this office that actually works. Look at her. Look at her. The poor thing. She needs a flipping break. Yes, and then you keep asking for promotions. Bruh. How am I going to give anyone a promotion if we have people baking cakes during working hours? <laughs> That's fair enough. <laughs> and while we're at it, Rufus, how dare you embezzle money from the company? Whoa, that beer, beer sound. And then threaten me. <laughs> that Rufus said we're only doing that until his book takes off, and then I'll play the lead alien in the movie adaptation. <laughs> um. I don't know what to say. Look who's going to jail now, Manfred. I would report you as well. Not me, that's for sure. I stand by what I said. I regret nothing. What is this? If I had known that calling the duck detective would result in this, I would have never done it. You were supposed to find out who stole my lunch. I mean, I did find out. From the beginning. Okay, now I feel terrible. Why did Boris have to lose the bag? My god, he is such an idiot! Oh my god. Okay, never mind. I had no idea it was that important. Why didn't anyone tell me about the plan? You said your cousin was ill. And the only thing that would make her happy was the salsiccia salamis. Yeah, she's just sorry she got caught. Okay, now I feel bad for Boris. I get why you said that, Pigment. He really had no flipping clue about anything. Oh, I he known. still was a part of it, though. If you're stupid enough to believe that, then you're also too stupid to bring a couple sausages across the border. Sophie, stop it. Wow, you really did quack the case, Mr. Duck quack the case. <laughs> You're just as cool as I imagined. What now, Ferguson? <laughs> the truth. The truth is an ugly mistress. Justice. 
Oh, 98% of the players decided to arrest Manfred, boy! He's going to jail! 64% of players decided to arrest Sophie. 69% of players decided to arrest Boris. You see? I was right. Like, yeah, why people would let Sophie off? She's so mean. Like, I get that her life is not easy, but like... You don't have to be so mean. Damn, this game was so good. Voice actor Sean Chiplock. Everyone was really good. Future friends? What does it mean? They wanted the Jeffers. Oh no. <laughs> uh. Not a lot of people were working on this game. It turned out amazing. Oh? I completely forgot to collect my payment from Laura. Oh. Everybody already went home. How am I going to pay for the bus? <sighs> Guess I'm walking home. Oh no. <gasps> Freddy? I just booked this one. It's been such a long day after all. Hmm. <laughs> he was not stalking us at all. Boris could have given me the... <laughs> Man. No, thank you. Come on, it'll be fun! Oh my god. This gives me, like, uh, Shrek and Donkey vibes. <laughs> Plus, you must be tired after all the detective work. I really don't. Please? Oh my god. I... <sighs> He's like, oh, please, God, help Great. me. Now I finally have time to tell you all about my ideas. Oh. Please don't. <laughs> I could get you tons of publicity. No. And imagine. We can team up. Absolutely not. And I could be your sidekick. Ducky had enough for today. He's a mood. <laughs> <laughs>